Hi, I'm Dana Brownlee and I'm here with another quick tip. As a corporate trainer, I work with teams and individuals, helping them be much more productive and get more out of their day. And I see a lot of the mistakes that they make. And I want to talk about some of those common mistakes and, and just share a few tips to hopefully make you a little bit more productive. The first one is avoid temptation as you're planning your day and as you're going through your day, avoid the temptation to work on those quick, simple things or things that seem quick and simple and instead attack at least one of your really important items before 10 a.m. Okay, almost all of us on our to-do list for the day, we have what I call big rocks and little rocks. And a lot of times the big rocks seem so daunting. We're much more attracted to the, the small, quick things. Oh, I just need to make a quick call or send a quick email or jump online real quick and, you know, order that, that Shutterfly uh, package. Um, but the problem is you can hop online and what you thought was going to be five minutes turns into 20 minutes and then the phone rings and then this catches your eye and then somebody walks in your office and next thing you know it's three o'clock and you feel like you never really got anything done. So I always say attack at least one of your big items before 10 a.m really important. Second thing, avoid browsing email all throughout the day continuously. I know it's so tempting and sometimes I'm guilty of it myself, but it really, really can decrease your productivity. And certainly you want to deactivate that chime on your inbox that lets you know every single time a message comes in because I promise you, you could be over here performing life-saving surgery. If you hear that little chime, it's like Pavlov's dog, you're going to stop to see what the message is. And usually it's not that important. So you want to take advantage of the momentum and you want to try to work on something to completion and instead maybe select certain times a day to check email and preferably not first thing in the morning. Maybe you select 10 o'clock and then again at 12 and then at 2 and at 4. Of course, it's not going to work for everyone, not going to work for every vocation. But as much as you can, you want to avoid just browsing through every single minute of every day. And then the last thing is try to block out time on your calendar in the morning and in the afternoon is actual work time. This might sound crazy, but it's amazing how many people I work with who feel like they just go through their entire day going from meeting to conference call to impromptu meeting, and they never really have a chance to do their own work. Or maybe they never have a chance to do those higher level thinking strategic sorts of activities like planning or strategizing or analyzing. All they have time to do is just get the report done. They never really have a chance to actually review it, reflect on it, um, maybe make some changes from a continuous improvement perspective. But when you actually block out your own work time, maybe it's 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning, and then again, it's 3.30 to 4.30 in the afternoon. It preserves your own time for you to focus on things that are really important for you. Now, I know life will happen, and maybe a meeting will come up or something will come up, and you'll need to sacrifice one of those blocks. But the feedback I get from my clients is, Dana, it's so great to have that time blocked off because even if I sacrifice my time in the morning, I still know I have my block in the afternoon. So try those tips. I hope they're helpful for you. If you're looking for more tips or articles or additional videos, please visit my resource library on my website, professionalismmatters.com. Or if maybe you're looking for a speaker for an event, please reach out to us there and someone will get back to you. Thanks so much.